In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, praise be to Allah, Lord and cherisher of the world. And may Allah send His peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who rightly follow him until the Day of Judgment. Amen. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a man came up to him, a pagan, and this pagan grabbed him by the neck. And the companions of Prophet Muhammad grabbed that pagan and they took him away. And right before they killed him, Prophet Muhammad said, wait, don't kill him. He said, you came and you choked me and basically you scratched me up in the process. He was probably bleeding from the neck. Muhammad said, is there a reason why you did this? So he didn't want to hear the guy's story. He didn't say kill him. I don't want to hear a story. The hell with him. Damn with him. And everyone else who's a non-believer. Kill them all. Wipe them all. Muhammad didn't do that. He said, I want to hear a side of the story. Why did you grab me by the neck and choke me? He said, I did not come to fight for you for your religion. Basically, I'm starving. I'm starving and that's why I did what I did. I did out of hunger. Muhammad told the companions, give him food and water and let him be. Give, let him free. The story says the companions were furious. They said, oh, messenger of God, are you? In other words, what's wrong? Are you got to be kidding us. You want us to give him food and water and let him free after what he did to you. Muhammad said, as long as he did not, as long as he did not come to fight me for my religion, I have nothing to do with him. In other words, okay, he choked me, but I'm not dying. He didn't injure me badly. In other words, I'm not... Uh, he didn't cut me up in pieces where I'm dying. Okay, so he choked me. Maybe he scarred me a little bit in the process. Maybe a little bit of blood. But it's nothing major. So as long as he did not come to fight me for my religion, let him go. Give him food and water. The guy left and he came back and he converted to Islam. Muhammad said, why didn't you convert to Islam on the spot if that's the case? He said, had I converted to Islam on the spot, it would have been said I did out of fear. So the fact that you let me free, I came back willingly to convert to Islam to show you that I didn't convert out of fear. I had a chance to get away as you let me free. So I came back willingly to convert to Islam. And you're calling Muhammad uh, a warmonger? And you're calling Muhammad a terrible man? I beg to differ. May Allah send His peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who rightly follow him until the Day of Judgment. Amen.